How to create a React application with latest version of the React that is React 18. This is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So if you are ready then let's go. So first of all you have to have a computer and Node.js installed on that. I mean if it is not already installed I'm going to show you how you can install Node.js because without Node.js you can't run or create a React application. So to install Node.js you have to search Node.js on any of the search engine like Google or Dr. Go. Or you can directly go to the official website of Node.js that is Node.js.org and you can download the Node.js according to your operating system as currently I am using Windows then I am going to download the Windows version of the Node.js and after the file is downloaded completely you have to click on the file to install the Node.js and just click on next next until you reach the terms and condition which I have to accept for no reason and just continue by clicking on the next next again and after that if everything goes fine then Node.js is going to be installed on your computer automatically and once the Node.js is installed on your computer just click on the finish and open a command prompt to check the Node.js version and npm version to see if it is working on our computer now and as you can see here Node.js is now working on my computer and npm is 2 so now I'm going to create a new folder on my computer to create a new project or new react application with create react app and with the react version 18 and now open the folder and open a terminal or command prompt in that and type the following command in the terminal to create a new react app like npx create react app and your project or application name and then it is going to create a react application and guys if you also see like this error then it is maybe for the npm version then you have to update the npm like i'm doing now so just close the terminal and open the terminal again in that folder and now run this command to update npm and now it is going to update the npm so we can create our react application just as usual now and we are going to create new application like we did earlier so write npx create react app and your application name and this time it is going to work fine as the npm is up to date now and now it is going to take some time and it is only takes about 2 to 5 minutes so take some rest and let the magic happen and after some time you will see this window which means the react application has been created successfully and now you can open the react application folder and you can open that folder in any of your code editor like vs code in my case so i'm going to open it with vs code and after opening the vs code you will see this structure and you will see multiple files and most of them are javascript files because this is the react applications file so from this we have to see the app.js where our code is going to be written so first of all let's run this application to see if it will work fine or not so first time you'll run with npm start then you'll see a window of coming and you have to accept it or allow it then a browser will open and your application you will show in your browser and this is the page which is built automatically in the create react app and you can see the location from where this application is or web page is coming which is app.js and guys if you inspect this web page or website then you will see a error coming from the react which is related to react version 18 and it is saying that you have to use create root instead of react dom so we'll just do that by changing the react version from anything to 18.0.0 and inside the index.js we are going to change the code from react dom to create root as specified in react version 18 so we are going to comment or remove this line because we don't need now react dom and we have to import create root from react dom slash client 
and if you can see we are currently rendering our application components on root division of the application so we are going to create a container with the value of this element which is the root so let's create a variable with that and store it in a const or variable and after that we are going to create a root with create root and now we are going to render our components on this root like root dot render and we are going to name the component as we are importing the app component currently so we are going to name it like app and this error is coming because i have written clients instead of client so change that and it will be working fine now so guys till now we are seeing the website created by react and we are going to change this now with our own code and we are going to write our h1 tag here and as you can see our code is now changed and website is working fine so if you inspect this element then you can see the root element is covering of this application so guys that's it for this video hope to see you next video till then stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutor and